Hello and welcome to this video where I am going to discuss what is Jira and being a DevOps engineer, should I know what is a Jira? Now, why I have picked this question? Very simple. I get asked this question so many times by a lot of students and candidates. They ask me, should I know Jira? Then they ask, should I learn complete Jira? And some of them even went ahead and learned Jira administration. Being a DevOps engineer, why should you know Jira or should you even know Jira and how much of Jira concept should you be aware of? I will try to answer this information. Before I go ahead, I would like to let you know that I publish video very often and if you have not subscribed for it, please do subscribe now. And my Udemy course for interview preparation is in the description. Feel free to go ahead and enroll. There is some special discount if you use the link below. So now let us get into the concept of Jira. Now, why do we need, need a Jira? And being a DevOps engineer, will I ever use Jira? Let us take a small example. Imagine you have got a job being a DevOps engineer. You have cracked your interview and you became a DevOps engineer and you joined a company. You will be given some tasks, right? You would be asked to do some tasks and there will be a lot of tasks that will be listed. Like you can see in the picture, if all of these tasks is spread, which one will you do first? Which is the priority? Also, how will you know who is working on what task? Correct? So all of this is really important when you become a DevOps engineer and when you start working on these concepts. So how does companies handle it? Let us see this in a different point of view in terms of an engineer, in terms of the manager and the product manager. Like I was saying, if you join a company and everyone gives you a task, you don't know what to prioritize and how to do your job. Now let us see how this features out in terms of the team manager and product manager and the team. We have multiple tasks. I just explained you this, that when you join a company, there will be some tasks and you have been given some task, right? So how is this organized, right? So we have Jira and I will explain what is Jira in a few minutes. You have a product manager and the manager who will be leading the team. They are responsible for the goals of the team. Goals of the team. Okay, perfect. You have engineers with you. How will they know who is working on what, right? So you have some tasks. So what kind of tasks you might be getting? It might be related to IAM. It might be related to Docker. It might be related to troubleshooting troubleshooting if this if these can, tasks can be anything okay so all of these tasks are actually stored in jira so jira is basically a place where you can list all of these tasks okay now is jira only used for that is there any other features of jira definitely there are many other features of jira we are not focusing on that let us only focus on what is required for the DevOps engineer, okay? So all the list of tasks that a DevOps engineer has to perform will be stored in, where it will be stored in Jira, okay? This is going to help you to organize things and to do your work easily and perform your task easily. So in the companies, what they will do is usually your technical lead and your project manager they create the task they create the task okay so they create the main task if there is some subtask related that the engineers will also create where where do they create the task they create the task in jira and it will be listed here and the devops engineers are going to pick these tasks and they are going to perform these tasks fine why is this important at the end of the week, they do what they call as review, what they call as review. It can be also called a sprint review. So in this sprint review, they do what they call brainstorming sessions. So they are going to discuss, okay, developer one or DevOps engineer one and DevOps engineer two. What were the tasks you picked? T1, T2, T3, T4. So T1, T2, T3, T4 are tasks. So they are going to go to the Jira board and they are going to see 
okay so t1 who completed what are some challenges you faced t2 who completed what are some challenges you face so on and so forth similarly in the beginning of every week there will be list of tasks which will be picked and this will be performed by the devops engineer i hope you have understood where does the concept of jira comes into picture so that has to be very clear in your mind now right jira is there to help you perform your tasks efficiently and keep a track of your task that is it now is it a tool only for devops engineer definitely not after i explained you this concept you are very confident that this can be used by developers also this can be used by testing team also this can be used by sre engineers also correct android engineers also this can be used by anyone and hence it is a common tool that will exist in a company so what should i learn being a devops engineer in jira should i go and get a jira administrator certification should i know everything in jira i will answer this question now okay you don't have to understand everything in jira my friends okay so this is a misconception you don't really have to understand everything in jira you only have to concentrate on three things what is it first how to create ticket in jira okay second how to update and use jira and third how to use the jira pool now where will i find it jira will give you one month free access okay or you go to any of the youtube uh, channels where they show you how to use jira if you know this much it is enough now one of the students also asked me sir i have not worked in the it sector at all how will i know correct so in this case you take that one month free access for jira just play around creating this and that is it okay you don't have to know more than this of course there are more concepts around this but you won't worry about them at this point of time if you are preparing for your devops interview if you are preparing for your devops journey then in that case you don't have to worry about too many concepts in jira if you worry about these three main concepts it is more than enough i hope you have understood the logic about jira where it is used what is the purpose of it and how many concepts you have to understand in the jira that is it for this video my friends if you have liked this video don't forget to click on the like button and do subscribe i will speak with you in the next video till then take care and thank you